Let's take a look at the program scheduler. This is really the heart of RadioWorks because it controls how spots are scheduled and eventually aired. When you open up the program scheduler, it will always open up to today's date and show you the day of the week. RadioWorks is set up according to what day, day of the week you are displaying in this screen. So what applies to this day, Friday, will apply to all the Fridays into the future. Uh, has nothing to do with the other days of the week. To set up a, a program, which is where you begin, you click on Add Program and that turns on this little window that says program. Now we know that we have some programs scheduled so we'll uh, pick the first one here and um, we happen to know it's going to start at midnight and then when we tab notice that because we told in the program list it was six hours that it has set it up for 6 a.m. The start date is today. The end date is exactly one year from today, 2010. Now that end date controls how far you can schedule spots into the avails of this program. So periodically you need to run extend program. You may uh, recall that was in the uh, file menu and under maintenance and we'll get into how Extend Program works, but it's something that you'll do frequently and it will extend all of the end dates of the programs if the program has Auto Extend checked, as you see this one here. That's automatic and it uh, means that nearly all of your programs are continuing rather than ending. If you do have a program that you're scheduling and you know it's going to end in a matter of weeks or months, then you can remove that check and put in the actual end date, and that will allow you to schedule a new program to uh, pick up the following uh, week or the next day after that program ends. You'll see it also filled in the source as live, and there is a open note field here, which means if you choose to print a paper log, there is a field under the program name or title for notes. So you can uh, pretty much have an unlimited number of notes or instructions to the uh, live board operator about this program. Insert spots, that only applies when you are scheduling a special program and uh, you want to move spots from the preempted programs into the new uh, special program. So we've got this program uh, information all uh, recorded and we simply click Save and notice that now this has arrived in our schedule. And we can then add another program click Add, and then we would go down here to the next one, and this one now is not going to start at midnight, or do you have the midnight show, it's going to start at 6 a.m. So we do 0600, and then we tab, and it, because it's a six hour program, it goes till noon. And uh, once again, it fills in the start date as today, the end date, 2010. Live show, auto extend is checked. We don't need any notes, so we click save. That one is uh, all recorded. Now we click here and add another program. Now, when you get a long list of programs that all comes from the program list, and you see that button right here, this is a shortcut to get to the program list, you can just use a keystroke to bring up the first in that letter of the alphabet. So if I hit N, for example, it goes right to noon at uh, news at noon. If I were to open that up and there were several other programs that start with N, I could choose 
one of them. So that might be a quick way to get to where you want to go. All right, the start date is going to be noon, and uh, I can very simply change the A to a P, so I'll do that. And then when I tab, it automatically knows it's a 30-minute program. That's what I told it in the length uh, in the program list. Again, same start, end date, source is live, and we are uh, not going to have any notes. So I click Save. And uh, now I've got that program saved. Breaks will be another uh, training.